We are on chapter 10, and it is entitled, If It Fits in Your Mouth, It's Food. Well, Tuesday, I bring something to the clinic I've never brought before. Something that means I need to leave the top of my backpack unzipped. And instead of swinging it to my shoulder, I carry it gingerly in my arms. Jason is already there when I arrive. His wheelchair is parked next to my usual spot on the couch. Hi! I sit beside him, arranging my backpack on my lap. Thanks for the carrots. Did guinea pig like they thought they were awesome in fact i pull my backpack zipper all the way down a furry eager face pops out what's up and more to the point what's for lunch pellets carrots Ooh, is that carpeting down there this is nutmeg i say cradling her against my chest, and she says, Thanks for the carrots. Nutmeg Nutmeg has chocolate brown whirls of fur, glossy black eyes, and a friendly personality. Of my two guinea pigs, I figured she'd be more tolerant of Jason's sudden movements and noises. Jason's mouth hangs slack. Would you like to pet her? I ask. She might squill, but she doesn't bite. Awesome. Not Nutmeg walks across Jason's communication book. She sniffs the air and <laughs> poops on Van. Sorry. I jump to grab a tissue from the box on the receptionist de- desk. Uh, Nutmeg, what kind of hello is that? Gross. Hello, says Jason. I clean Jason's book. You can say that again. Gross. Hello. Very funny. I reach into the front pocket of my backpack. Uh, Speaking of jokes, I made words for you. When I look up, Jason is stroking Nutmeg's back with his fingertips. I can see by the clench of Jason's jaw how hard he's struggling to control his movements to not frighten her. When he brings his hand away, he's trembling. I pretend not to notice, afraid it'll embarrass him. This first card is joke. I thought you could use this word when you're telling a joke or being sarcastic to make sure the other people knows you're kidding. Like word, he points. And this is whatever. I lean over to whisper. It's good for annoying your mother. At least it has the effect on mine. I demonstrate swinging my gaze to the ceiling. Whatever. Jason grins. Good job. Whatever. I move Nutmeg over so I can slide the cards word after word in Jason's book. And this is secret. I thought sometimes we might want to talk without everyone hearing us. When one of us taps Secret will switch to only using your cards. You want to try it? Yes. I look around for something to talk about. Out the window, a man hurries across the parking lot, his beagle on a leash. Do you see that guy? I ask, pointing. Let's imagine who he is. The man dashes past the windows. The beagle trots beside him, head down, (laughs) sniffing. Jason taps. Late for dog show. I give Jason a thumbs up. Good 
job. My turn. I imagine the man and his dog as a perfect spy team. Too ordinary to be noticed. But Jason doesn't have spy or secret agent or even mysterious searching Jason's book. Man is a secret is the best I can do. I was imagining them a secret agent team, I say finally. Maybe we can talk about music instead. Yes, points David. I pull my CD player from the front pocket of my backpack. This is my favorite CD. Putting the headphones on Jason's ears isn't as awkward as last time, but I still fight the urge to shiver as his hair brushes my fingers and the backs of my hands. Who? Music. I check his book, but of course, there's no card. It's Jason Taps Secret. I clamp my hand over my mouth. Don't speak. Catherine, make word who. I don't have a blank card, so I remove goodbye card from Jason's book and draw on the back. It's not a great picture of um, Avril Lavigny. I don't know how to say that word, sorry. But Lavigne, Avril Lavigne. I guess that's how you say it. But I'm in a hurry. I don't bother to slide it in Jason's book. Just lay the card on top. It's a temporary card and he'll need goodbye more. Jason studies the picture, headphones on, music playing, Arville uh, uh, Laving, stupid. What? I startle Nutmeg into skittering across Jason's book. Jason grins. Joke. I dip my head in my best imitation of mom's nah, no-nonsense look. You think you're funny, don't you? I lift one side of the headphones so he'll hear me better. My next card is going to say, you big jerk. Secret. I spoke again. I bit my tongue to keep from using it and scan my word choices, lifting nutmeg to see what she's sitting on. Jason taps, like Arville Levine. Me too. It is all I can find to say. Hi, Jason. Jason scowls as I take the headphones off his ears. Speech, woman, yell all the time. He taps. I can't talk, but I hear fine. Hi, Jason. His therapist repeats louder. <laughs> How's his day been going? She asks his mother. Jason's hand moves. Loud day. What a sweet little animal, the speech therapist says. But what's it doing? I glance at Nutmeg, busy chewing the edge of goodbye. I lunge for her. I'm sorry, Jason. He just smiles. It says O-D, bye. So he chewed the G-O, guinea pig. Watching his therapist push Jason's chair down the hallway, I told Nutmeg against my chest. I hold Nutmeg against my chest, stroking her back with my fingertips. Could we stop at the mall on the way home? I asked Mom. I need cardstock and a paper cutter. Jason Needs some more words. The end.